Hey, it's Carmel. Welcome back to the Creating Your Website Challenge. Today, we're going to look at how to create a brand new page instead of using a page that's already existing in your website template. And this is in case you're wanting to do something extra that that template doesn't have. And while we're creating this brand new page, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to insert text and how to add a button. And we'll also probably be using um, inserting the image in the background like you learned in the previous session. So. Get your stuff ready and let's begin. Okay, let's first of all begin with looking at how to create a new page. Now, this is my original website, so you should have seen this before. This is my sealerservice.com and I'm showing you in the back end of it. And I want to show you because I'm going to create a page that's for members only, whereby if they um, want to pay and join a website course similar to what we're doing now, then they can just go in with the password and they can only view this page if they've got the password. But I'm going to create the page from scratch. So if I go on the left hand side menu and these are all the pages I've actually got. Now you notice you won't see all these pages up here, only the ones that are in bold. And that's because I've hidden the other pages. In other words, I don't want everyone to see them, but somehow you can access those pages if you've got a link from another page to them but I'm going to go from start and click add page. Okay, it now will say new page here and new page here. And I will call it uh, uh, your Okay. Now notice when I click done, it's going to be up over here and I don't necessarily want it to show there. If I didn't, actually I do want it to show there, I'm lying. But if I didn't, I would simply write hide and it would go away. But I do want it to be there. So I'm going to say show. However, I don't want it to be the second thing on here because they'll only actually go into the course portal and onto the course if they have received a password. So it's not the first thing I want people to look at. So what I might do is I might just change the position it has on this uh, menu bar. So if I want to change the position, I just move it around over here, which is quite nice. So do I want it online store, start your journey? I think I just before start your journey, because I might get rid of that start your journey thing. Let me move it down after demo. Um, Oh, now I've got it in. You see it's actually gone slightly in, which means it's part of that page. I don't want that. Let's take it out. And between online store and start your journey, I want it there, your course portal. Okay, close that, preview it. Okay, so there's nothing here. So hopefully it'll just preview exactly as it is like that, which is perfect. Back to editor. Okay, so what I told you is that I'm going to create this page so that if someone wants to sign in and they're a member, you can only get on this page if you've either paid or you know the member password. And on here, I'm going to create um, a place whereby people can have buttons where you click on the button and you can either um, download a PDF that I might have uploaded or you can, once you click the button, it automatically emails me. There's a lot of different things that the button can do. A button can also link whatever the person's viewing to another page. So let's go over here and I'm going to add my first part, which will be a heading. Okay, so here we're doing the text first, add a heading. As soon as I click add a heading, it will go over here. And you see it was originally in white. Now I'm going to choose the color of the text. So what you're learning here is just to how basically insert text and change them. So my color of my text cannot be that color. It must be my, um, my brand color. So I've made that my text. Now, if I don't like the font of this text, I can change it here. Um, first of all, let's just click out and I'm going to show you if I just move this like that. In fact, if I move it to that line and then to that line, and then I click on edit text and I want to center it, I know it'll be slap bang in the middle, which is exactly what I want. 
The size of it will depend on how much of a heading it is. Is it a heading six? Is it small? And obviously heading number one is the largest. Let's make it the largest. But now you see it's defaulted back to the original color. So I have to change it again. So potentially do the, do the size of the text first. Okay, this font here is the default, default font that comes with the website template. Now I have got a different font that I use. Um, it's actually that one, but it might look a bit funny to you, like that. And my heading is going to be, I'm just going to scroll over it, highlight it, and then write my own heading. Uh, create your, I bought this font, that's why it's doing that. Create your website, okay. Now I can also change the size of the font here. So if I double click on it, and then if I go bigger, or smaller you can see that's how it works like that now I try to have all my headings the same size I think it's 71 so I'm going to keep that consistent so that it's consistent across all the pages so that is how you insert a font you simply went over here on the left you clicked add you clicked text and then you added whatever text you want you can see you can also have all capitals but obviously if I wanted to write that I mean huge title like that that's another way of just going about doing it. Okay, now, what I'd like is to have a background for this part. So I'm going to click Add. And I'm going to choose a strip. Or lists and grids. Mm, that's quite nice if you're wanting to do different things. Let's have a look here. Um, Tell you what this is quite nice for different things so what I'm trying to do is day one or topic one topic two topic three and where you can have a bit of information about it and then a link to a video or a video embedded so let's have a look here and we will choose hmm, it's not bad that but it's not exactly what I want uh, If I click on it, you see it went straight away like that. And what I could do is I could make it go all the way like this. No, that doesn't look what I, what I want. Could always add more items. Mm, not really. So I don't like that. I'm just going to simply delete it. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to rather build it from scratch. So I'm going to click shape and then choose a shape like that and pull it all the way to the end there. These little frames here just mean that whatever you do in this area will show up perfectly no matter what device the people who are looking at your website are on. So whether it's a mobile, uh, a tablet, or a web interface. You can still put other stuff here, and I'll show you how. It just means that, um, that it might, on some devices, not show properly. Okay, here is the basic shape. And I'm thinking for each topic, I'm going to have the topic name here, and a little bit of text about it, and then any PDFs or videos included in here. So this is what I'm going to show you. So first of all, you know how to change the color of something. It's not exactly the color that I like. I have my other um, colors on the website uh, that are for my brand. Let's start off with the dark one first. Okay. And I'm going to build this one up first and then I'm going to be able to duplicate it. So let's click that first and now I'm going to add text. So I've just showed you how to do that. You click that. Um, I'll add a heading too. Not a heading one. It's still quite big. And I'm going to have it all on the left side. Okay, I'm definitely going to have this going white. And I do have the other fonts on my website because I try to keep it as consistent as possible. It is called Cookie. Cookie. Okay. So I've got Cookie, I've got this one, and then I have one more. 
Let's just preview that without the lines. Okay, this is not, not the kind of heading I like. I don't like that anymore. I'm going to go back and find out what the text was for the paragraphs in the other sections of my website. So let me just go up to the home page. So you see this text over here. That's what I like. That text. So that's what I'm going to use. So how do I find out what that text is? I simply click on the text. I click edit and I see it's Futura and it's size 30. That's quite a big one for this one. It's a bit smaller lower down because this is my introduction. So it's 21 lower down. I just know that. So I'm going to find the Futura and it's paragraph one size. So I go back to the page I was working on. Um, your course portal and I will double click on that and I'm going to say Futura uh, there we go and I'm going to either pull this down to 30 or I can just write 30 there okay that's nice and this is introduction okay so I'm going to do that and now I'm actually going to just show you, you can either go back and pull the text in or you can right click it, click duplicate and you've got it right underneath and I'm going to make it slightly smaller for the next part. Um, this is a five day website challenge to get started. Okay, now I can either have this going all the way like this along here, which would make sense. However, I am going to want to put a video into that side. So I'm not going to do that. Now this introduction, I think I'm going to make it bold. This, I think I need to make it a little bit smaller. Bearing in mind, I'm going to have a lot of text in the other ones. Okay, now I can put whatever I want here, the PDFs that I might want to upload, and this is where I want to show you how to include a button. So, I am going to copy this whole thing. Okay, and for each section, I'm going to have it a different color. So, change the design color. Just duplicate that and the first thing you did was inserting your logo and then there'll be a blurb again here duplicate about what you're going to have have your logo in JPEG, PN. Remember, PNG has a transparent background, so that's probably the nicest. Okay, over here, I want to just show you how you can insert uh, a video. But before that, I want to show you how to do the button. So let's just preview this. Yeah, that looks good to me so far go to home page okay okay so this course that i'm doing now is quite similar to this so um i want them to be able to create a course learn more about our courses i'm going to make this these words over here a button that will link it to the your course portal so go back okay and here anything can become a button so sometimes you can actually click over here and you can insert a button and all the buttons look like this it's quite nice you can make them all look very different when you actually click over them and stuff but I'm gonna just make this word 
a button. So double click on it and you see this little link thing over here. This shows me that I can link this, that, that these words can become a button and I'm wanting them to go to um, your course portal when they do this. So click link. Now this is the best part. When you are making something a button linking to something, you can even have it that when they click that, it goes to an email. You add the email address that you want them to have um, to send it to and the subject title so that when you receive the email, you will be able to know exactly what they are asking about. So this here, you'd put like info at sealerservices.com, whichever your email address is. And here you will add a catchy title like, tell me about your website course. And then when you click done, it means that every single time they click on those words, it's going to go straight and they're going to fire off an email to you and it will, and you'll know exactly where the email came from. You can also have it linking to a web address and this means it doesn't have to be in your website, it can actually be an external website. Like for example, it can be a YouTube link even. Um, or it can be a page within your website and that's what I'm going to choose now. I'm choosing page and here are all the pages that I've got on my website already. Those were here. They were part of this, remember? All of these are my pages here. So it's the same here. Link. Okay, and I wanted to link to, what did I say? Uh, your course portal, your course portal. Okay. This part over here, do I want it in a new window or the current window? If I choose current window, it means they're going to go in here within my website and they're not going to be able to, to go back to the page that they were on originally. Um, if I say new window, it means it's opening up a completely new window for them. So if they want to go back, they can just then click back on the tab like that. So I'm going to say new window and I'm going to click done. Okay, let's preview this. Sometimes the changes of a link don't take place and um, they don't show on the preview. Now you see what's happened is it's underlined it here because it's now making it a, um, a link. If I click on that, it's not going to go because it's not um, published. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to go back to the editor. I've got to select this. Personally, whether it's um, a link or not, I just don't like underlining. I think it looks a bit messy. And I'm going to take away the underline because it defaulted it on and I'm going to click publish. Okay, now I'm going to check that that happened. So I'm going to my actual website externally. See my your course portal has populated up here, but I'm on the home page. I go all the way down to that word that I made a link and I can see it's a link already because this little oak's got a little um, finger there. As soon as it turns into a finger, I know I can click on it. I click on it and it takes me to my page that I'm currently creating called your create your website. Okay, so that is how you create a button from scratch just from text and I'm going to leave you with that for now until we move on to our next session.